what's going on guys we are back with another reef centipede reef today and at the moment it's looking pretty good and the viz has been really bad at all the reefs recently and we managed to find ourselves probably roughly like 20 meters of viz here which is looking pretty good i'm out with my brother my dad just the three of us and um there's a bit of backstory to this reef because this was originally the first reef that i was going to dive when i got the boat last year and we were deciding where to go it was either keeper or centipede and um obviously went with keeper and uh no regrets there because that's an amazing reef but it's interesting now that i'm here and i can't wait to jump in the water and see what it has to offer and we're just fishing doing some bottom drops at the moment I haven't had too much luck but as the day goes on i'm sure it'll get better and i'm super keen so if anything happens i'll let you guys know all right so we haven't had too much luck fishing so we're gonna jump in the water me and the bro and uh you're gonna have to teach him how to spear fish because last time he got nothing yeah
Alright, so if you just watch the video that just sent of us in the water, look at the trouts that we got. That thing is a monster. And there's three more ones down there. I reckon we got two or three 60 centimeter ones and two around that 70 to 75 centimeters. Romeo got his new PB. And um, I think I got myself a new PB as well just then. So that was awesome. Trout was not the main thing on my mind, but when you have options like that, like you don't put it down. So hopefully some Spanish later or something like that. Cause I was really hoping for some Spanish mackerel steaks. All right, so here's what sums up the trouts that we got. Have a look at that. That is an hour and a half of spearing. All right, have a look at that guys. That is four absolutely beautiful trout and we are so happy. And honestly, I don't even think we need a trout anymore because that's, that's dinner for a couple nights for sure. And um, we're just happy, honestly. Beautiful fish and uh, have a look at this thing. Look at this thing absolute beast all right those are the two slabs off that trout managed to do a decent job with that knife and uh he'll go back in the water for the sharks and um took the wings off as well all right we'll start cooking that up all right we've got the fish on and uh bit of herbs and spices and that's gonna be a good lunch and little bros feeling a bit seasick as always and he didn't drink any water Ooh. all right lunch is ready romeo's having a feed and uh i'm gonna have those i'm gonna be eating those wings and that looks pretty good all right so we are literally currently like in the middle of the reef it's got like this sort of blue hole sort of thing um don't know really what term you'd use for that because it's not super deep in here but it's like 20 meters and um unfortunately i broke my drone so there will be no drone footage for this reef i'll probably just chuck in some photos or something from google maps of the reef so you guys know what it looked like and um we're just in there now and just i don't know if you can see that but it's just surrounded by reef it's absolutely beautiful and um i might jump in and look for a couple crays although like a luck with craze that the reef has never been that good so I'm not sure if I'll find one but I think it's worth a shot and yeah. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down 
right, so we jumped in for a second spear, and um, we didn't get as many fish just because one, the only thing I could really find was some cold trout, and we already were pretty happy with the trouts we got before, so we just left them. We sort of just swam along and uh, just admired what was around, and it was pretty insane. Like, you know, there was some pretty awesome stuff that I saw. And then we went for a trawl, and we had absolutely no luck. Not a single fish for like an hour of trawling, and um, even fishing, like, the, the fishing's just not on at the moment, and it's unfortunate. First proper, proper fish of the trip. I can't see what it is yet. I'm hoping it's not a shark, and it's a shark. Sunset's just going down, and uh, we're still fishing at the moment, but not much luck besides sharks and whatnot. And um, we're unsure at the moment on whether or not we're going to head back tonight or stay out for the night. And um, just because if we do stay out, I've got to go back super early tomorrow, so I feel like it might not be worth it. So we're going to see if the night fishing doesn't all of a sudden go off when it's a bit darker, then we're probably going to head home. And uh... Alright, so we're going to head home now. We've decided that it's just best if we go back now because tomorrow is going to be too quick and short and we won't get that much time out of it. So we're going to send it home. And honestly, we had the best time at this reef. Romeo, uh, PB Trout, <laughs> and PB Trout from myself as well. And uh, I'm glad that this wasn't the first reef we did. And I came back, or I did it for the first time once we actually knew what we were sort of doing because we had an absolute amazing time. And just, it was awesome.